The double slit experiment was first performed by Thomas Young to demonstrate the wave-like properties of light. In this experiment, a beam of coherent light is passed through two closely spaced slits and a barrier. On the other side of the barrier, a screen or detector is placed to record the arrival of the light. If light were simply made up of particles, we would expect to see two distinct patterns on the screen. However, instead of two separate patterns, Thomas Young observed an interference pattern on the screen. Similar to the patterns formed when waves interact with each other. This interference pattern indicates that light is behaving as a wave, interfering constructively at some points and destructively at others. The bright bands are regions of constructive interference, where the crests of the waves meet the crests of the other waves. Which means that the waves from the two slits are in phase and add together to create a larger wave. This happens when the path difference between the waves is equal to an integral multiple of the wavelength. For destructive interference to occur, the waves from the two slits must be out of phase by 180 degrees. This means that the crests of the waves must meet the troughs of the other waves. This can happen when the path difference between the waves is equal to an odd multiple of half wavelength. In a double slit experiment, the bright and dark bands observed in the interference pattern are collectively referred to as fringes. The width of a fringe is known as fringe spacing. The distance of a fringe from the central bright fringe is called fringe position. Both fringe spacing and fringe position depend on several factors, including the wavelength of the light, the separation between the slits, and the distance between the slits and the screen. Increasing the distance between the slits will decrease the fringe spacing and their position in the interference pattern. Increasing the distance between the slits and the screen will increase the fringe spacing and their positions in the interference pattern. Similarly, increasing the wavelength of light will also increase the fringe spacing and their positions in the interference pattern. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about the double slit experiment. Thank you for watching.